Activision presents a smashing blast from the past. Developed by Vicarious Visions. Hello, welcome to Games Brains Banging Life. Straight. We're going to be doing some Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. Insane. Trilogy. Released now on Xbox One. I'm actually going to be doing uh, Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Reason being because this was basically the first Crash Bandicoot game I ever played back in the day. Um, I didn't play Crash Bandicoot 1 or 2, who was 3 first. I absolutely loved it. Eventually went back to the other two. But obviously after you played Crash Bandicoot 3, it's hard to go back to the uh, original trilogy. The original 2, should I say. So yeah, this is freshly out on Xbox One. Uh, I've played it a fair. I've played it a bit now. I've started off with Crash Bandicoot One. It's good. A um, few issues here and there, mainly with the controls and the difficulty of Crash Bandicoot One. Whoa, the amount of times I've died. Certainly, certainly not as good as I thought I was. Either that or it's jumping. The jumping mechanics. Most of my deaths seem to be coming from me missing jumps. You have to be very precise. I found. And like the first game as well, it's really, really repetitive. A lot of the levels are quite the same, so I figured, yeah, if I'm going to show off any of the gameplay, it should be on Crash Bandicoot 3, the best one. So the old intro, looking pretty, very colourful. It was that infernal bandicoot. From deep inside my devil prison, I sent you simple instructions Ooh, to follow. Yeah. But you lost the gems, you lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience. There is now no other power source left on this planet. I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks. And failed. But since your bumbling has managed to set me free, I am feeling generous. There is still a way to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. And this time, this time, the great Uka Uka will make sure that you do it right. After many eons, my evil twin brother, Uka Uka, has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. Let's do this. Children. Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time-twisting machine to gather crystals that may scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. This is all very familiar. As I said at the start, I played this game so much back in the day on PlayStation 1 to the point where I got so good at it that every Platinum time, time trial trophy was got as well. Well, it should be interesting going back and trying to do that all later on in the game. Crash, see if I'm actually still crash. as good. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh, look! I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. Loading us. Definitely improved. Man, look how pretty this is. Yeah, see, that's what I, I found as a problem when I was playing the uh, first Crash Bandicoot. I keep trying to double jump. Of course, in Crash Bandicoot 3, you won't unlock that till later on. I have no idea if it's something here that's actually unlocked in the uh, first game or not. There has to be something because I've tried doing time trials in the first game and come up woefully short because I'm just not fast enough so I don't know if maybe if you complete the game you can lock some of the some bonuses or something. Certainly does look pretty. Oh, 
bonuses. Apple's Woomba fruit, if I remember correctly. So you get a hundred, you get an extra life, and I found, uh, at least in the first game, those extra lives are super important. It was kind of floating above it there a little bit. Again, like I said, go back to the first game. So I've been playing those checkpoints are such a relief a lot of the time. Ooh, almost got hit by him. That's still crystal collected. You always get a certain amount of collectibles in it. You've got the main pink crystal that you need to effectively finish the level, and then you've got the uh, collect all the boxes gem. I think in some levels was like a second gem you can get when you go on, an, on like an alternative path. And of course the time trial gem. But there's no point, I mean you can you can earn, uh, I think it's Sapphire there, right now if you wanted to, but it's better off, if I'm, you know, better off probably waiting until you've unlocked the extra skills. It's got level two, and the water one. Yeah, unlock the extra skills, a double jump, the faster run. Just to unlock, just to be able to at least try for the platinum. That's uh, how it was back in the day. So I imagine it's exactly the same here. The little water levels are very easy to control. I think they might be a little bit difficult, but not uh, they're done well. Bandicoot certainly does them well. Small, otherwise we get damage if we hit them when they're all fat and spiky. The fan pushing me down in there, so I guess if you were to miss a box, you're not getting back up. Oh, just went straight past that. Got a ship. Whatever it's called. Shoot over the distance now. More lives, more lives, more lives. My is closing. Oh, that's where that one's done. The other side of that is electrified, so watch out for that. I believe I just, I, I literally drove right into that. Just firing indiscriminately forwards. Here, there's the crystal. And the jet. Perfect. Easy. First couple of levels, very straightforward. It is a strong nostalgic feeling playing this, you know. 
even with the modern look. You know, this is something from my youth. A very long time ago since PlayStation 1. Okay, so let's go into level 3. Wait, is that right? Level 2, level 3, it was. Orient Express. Nothing extra in this one. Oh, Coco this time. Oh, of course, this is where you get to ride um, look like a little baby tiger. Tricky jumps and stuff like that. This might be the first one that kind of... This would be the first one. Bo to get all the boxes, we'll probably... Up the difficulty a little bit. Yeah. Get a little bit of lag. Get launched up, you'd have missed those boxes. That's a tricky one, yep. There's some trickier jumps here. Oh, I've hit it. Yep, I knew it. Jump just a slightly bit too early. Thankfully, nice regular checkpoints. Gonna get hit there. Got the checkpoint, fifty boxes. Uh, I want to hit the ramp this time. Off we go. Head, lovely like that. There's the gem. Find those boxes. Oh, this is the list. Ooh, how did I not? I'm so sure I got hit there. Gotta jump right at the last second there to get past that ramp to be able to get those boxes, otherwise you'll hit it. Did I get it? Did I miss a box? Nope. There you go. That's it. Straightforward. There's a couple more of them later on in the game. They get tougher and tougher, as you'd imagine. Okay, so so far just flying through the levels. Still do their stupid dances and you can't knock them out of the animation. Maybe maybe someone who knows the first game better than I do, but uh, the first game Coco. Why is she Kauka and Cortex want tiny kid crystals and bring them to big Colosseum in Rome? Crash! Leave them for tiny or crash get crashed! Okay, yeah. So why is she so looks so different? She's re she's really tall. She wears hot pants. Like it's a little bit compared to that version of Coco. There was Coco in the first game originally. I didn't add her. Made her look like that. It, it, it seems so weird to be compared to that version of Coco there, which is the version of Coco I knew. So when I saw her in there, uh, Crash One. Hello, what? Okay, so this is a chase level. On the ball, just the obstacles and get boxes. Let's follow the uh, trail of fruit. Oh, almost missed that one. That's one of the unlocks I remember now. Uh, a sort of advanced spin that goes on a bit longer. That's really useful, actually. Okay, back to side scrolling. This one, this is a level that had two gems, so there must be a, a second path that you unlock later on with the coloured gems. Reasons to go back and replay, I guess. Yeah, look, there it is. You've got a red symbol. So yeah, later on there'll be a level where you can um, unlock the red gem and then go back and get all the boxes in this level. So that means this will be the first one where I cannot get all the gems. Oh, 
this area. Looking a little bit more tricky. benefits of the bonus areas is that you can die if I can find a way to fall down and die and not lose a life you just restart the bonus area so if you do screw up and can't get the boxes um, or miss some boxes for whatever reason you just got just just kill yourself and go back in So I need to... Oh, there we go. So you do that bit. And that's all the boxes got. So one of the other things if you don't know, I passed a nitro box. Those things aren't like TNT. If you touch them, they'll just explode automatically. So potentially will kill you if you don't have um, an Uka Uka mask with you. At, at the end of the levels, if I remember correctly, there'll be a um, detonation switch that will explode all the um, nitro boxes in the level. So you can, they, because they count towards the total box top, boxes top. We'll see if there's one in this level. That's how it was if I remember the correct way. So these boxes before I activate him, we're off. Brass slows you down, so be quick on the spin through it. Oh, I'm not getting those apples. Apples, they're wimp of fruit. Oh, bollocks. Oh, I've got away with that one. Not the nitro boxes. Definitely a trickier route. Remember that this time. Ah, oh, and the nitro boxes. Oh, damn it. Can I go back to checkpoint now? So yeah, one box missed. That was the nitro box. You see, I missed the switch. I would have blown it up. It's unlucky. No matter. I've got enough for it. I'll have to replay the level anyway to get the additional gem. So at least I got the four one. Right. Level five. Back underwater, making waves. Apparently it's Coco. A heart. It's this kind of level. A lot of variety. A lot of variety in there. Crash three. Compare it to the other two. wide angle. At least you can kind of go back a bit. I don't know how far I can go back. I don't have to go back to the entire level. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ooh, almost hit that. I don't have a... Maybe it's a bit slow. There's the gem. 
Guardian. Rosse is excellent. Shit. Oh, that was close. There's a checkpoint. It's good stuff. At least the ramps seem to automatically push you towards the middle of the jump even if you sort of go at them at an angle. Missed a couple there. I'm going to go back for them. Done it. Yes, I have. Right, quick change of controller batteries. So, give me a second. Back. Okay, so it should be the boss battle now. Once Coco stops dancing. Tiny Tiger. Rash Coco stole the pretty crystals. Tiny take them back in Gladiator Arena. Fly Cortex. <laughs> Alright. Vaguely remember how this goes. He sort of chases you around like that until eventually he stamps it to the ground and then you get a spin attack on him there. Yeah. I can't what he does now, though. Oh, okay. Let's dodge these. Ooh, the screen. Powerful belly flop, hardly. Okay, so that's the first five levels complete. First area. Well done, children. By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From there, you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. Thanks. So you used to be able to save your progress in this, but now Coke is just standing there. You literally save your progress by pressing start now. Second world. Gee whiz. Let's have a go at this one. More talking. Why? Why must you continue to be a thorn in our side? Who? What? Where was I? Oh, Tiny was a good fellow. He hated everyone and everything. 
but a good heart nonetheless. Please be more reasonable with my minions next time. Alright, we're off and rolling. I like the lighting, it looks really nice. It looks like there's a sun sort of setting over there, you know. Ah, this is what the big belly flop's for. Oh, oh that was completely wrong. Ah, uh, this would be the uh, G Wiz part of things. Nitros in this level. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm not quite calling those air uh, frogs positions quite right. Favorite. There we go. This time. Slide is such a good move. It's got quite a range on it as well. I missed him. Doesn't matter. Bonus area. That one just kill itself by jumping into the nitro. Ah, one of these ones. That these turn into. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to get a box on the leaves, so wouldn't be able to get all of them. Nice. 18 boxes and an extra life from the warm fruit. 100 boxes in this one. A little bit more to it. the trickiness of the uh, levels is increasing a little bit. Still early. Oh, we crash. Stop dancing. Alright, level 7. Hang em high. Brand new area. Coloured gem in this one. Let's see if we can work out how to get it. I can't quite remember to do that. So we've got kind of a Middle Eastern, Aladdin style level. Put up next. Be 
just to see if I'm actually in the back of the big stones. Good that he doesn't like fall off automatically when you go to the edge, that would be quite annoying. Perspective though for enemies isn't easy. There's the gem, and I guess the secret area. I got away with that. So there's the gem back there. Hmm. I don't remember. Okay. Nope. Generally don't remember. No matter, it's there for the future. Is there a separate path? Is there something you do? I can't remember. I generally, I feel like I should be able to remember that, but no. Maybe, maybe it requires a double jump or something up high or somewhere. No matter. We got what we needed to move on to the next level. That's what we'll do. Level eight. Ah, another variety. New level. Hog ride. I always like these ones. Well, the tricky and time trial, I can remember. Oh, yeah, because it's a legit race as well as collecting boxes. Mind you, it's not important about winning if you are going for the boxes. So, probably best to focus on separate aspects. Try and get the boxes. I'm not gonna worry too much about it if I don't though, because if I don't I kinda get checkpoints in this, I think it's just a race. I'd rather do it if you don't. Well, up to third place. It's the first one to expect this to be pretty straightforward. Oh track a bit. You get Oh, I didn't do I didn't win. I got a gem, but didn't win. Came second. Oh. 
celebrate. We missed the gem crash. At least we got um, Mr. Crystal. At least we got the gem. So we get the box this time. I'm just going to drive out. I didn't think I drove particularly poorly there. I know I um, went rode a bit and hit the car at the end, but. Okay, so you can get yourself a boost. Which is probably going to be really important when it comes to the time trial. Not sure if landing from the jumps is affecting uh, my speed. I'm going to avoid these two. I mean, I'm almost in second place. Don't drive into me, dude. Damn it! I, I swear I did exactly the same thing last time. That's it. Got past him. Oh! I just caught that, just clipped it. There's the crystal. Then Crash almost gets run over at the end. Right, the boss of this area is Dingo Dial. Right, number nine, Tomb Time. So we're going into the tomb. Good there he is. Mate. Dingle Dial's the name, and Uka Uka and Cortex gave me orders to bring the crystal to them during the Ice Ages. So give me the goods and shove off, or I'll roast you. Pump started at the start there. Scarabs are probably going to fall down. Yep. On this area right at the start. And do it. So we've got this time. TNTs. jump up onto it. Sliding through them effect effectively puts a crash underneath the TNT. So that's not going to work. Unless I get lucky enough to go all the way through. But it didn't work that time, so... Okay. That's more like it. There we go. And the last two boxes. 19 of 19 and 19 fruits. And an extra life. To 33 now. I think there's an achievement for um, collecting 99 lives. I don't know if, if which game it was for though. So there's basically 3,000 achievement points. Gamer score 3. Game. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, I thought I was gonna get crushed. Oh yeah, stand in the light. You get shot. Okay. Didn't even notice the light. Aha! Double jump. That's how you would get to path to that gen. But of course, we haven't unlocked the double jump, so it's now. that close because I was going to try and make the jump. Patience. Oh, I just flicked that light. light, light, light. I've done that in uh, Crash Bandicoot 1 and it was actually an achievement for it. For, um, Ah, this is going to be a bit tricky. So, uh, resume the extra path. <laughs> Alright, we got uh, the same level. One more level than Big Dodal. Midnight Run. Okay, so this is a Coco one. Expecting this to be a bit more tricky than the first one. Start. Completely missed my jump. I remember Coco being able to spin. Alright, so we kind of want to jump over this, like that. That way. Oh! Nice checkpoint. a bit more tricky, particularly the boxes. And a little bit better timing. Dragons are moving. Okay. Oh, how did I miss those two? So if you want to get the boxes in the same run, just kill yourself. There's going to be a checkpoint quite close. There was here as well. Alright, well there's the crystal. 
And looks to be the end of the level. Should be the gem as well. Yeah, 25 out of 25. Nice one, Coco. Right, boss time, dig a dial. Simple and to the point. <laughs> Break out the butter. I'm gonna make toast. Okay, I think I'm about to get uh, Stop shooting at me to break these up crystals. Oh! Got me instantly. Stop the head for that, apparently. Firing. Gonna get in there and hit him. Quick on that. Got to be really, really careful. Strategy. Gotcha. Yeah. That is Dingle Girl taken out. And it's double jump with a lot. Yeah. Now we're a bit more super powered. Let's go have a look at the uh, first level of the third area, level 11. Dynamite. All right, we'll do this one, last one. Then I'm going to stop the stream. Well, haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials? I am Dr. Nefarious Trophy, master of time and the creator of the very time twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little shroud. So you won't be leaving my area with the crystals. I swear it. Yep. So we have a double jump now. Exciting times. Look at that. Early on. Like fish that look like 
crash. Let's see, that would be the crystal gem. Ah, so when they're spinning, that would crash. That's when you take damage. Oh, yeah! I remember. The dinosaur. Right about this one. There's a crystal. I'm probably gonna have a runny bear, I reckon. So we do the secret area. funny when you use the double jump because like jumps that previously wouldn't have really needed it you'll just end up to it all the time okay tricky uh, okay how do i slam them just fall all the way through simple right by the side but yeah splash will do it for you definitely going to be short boxes in this one Do this. I run straight into one of the Perdactyls. Just not about the fruit. Shit. Tricky this one. Shit. Yeah. I'm not sure if when the dinosaur hits it counts. It might actually count. He's destroying the two. Oh, we'll find out. Oh, it's gonna get me. Oh, go away. Where was the switch? For the nitro. No matter. Right, last thing I'm gonna do with the stream, we're gonna go back to the first level. We're gonna check out a time trial. Now, I won't be able to do much beyond getting probably the standard Sapphire because I haven't got the ability to run the, the boost run. But we'll see how we do. Back in Toad Village. Crash, Coco. If you have already retrieved a Levels Crystal, then you will find a floating clock when you enter for the second time. This floating clock activates time trial mode. Grab it, and the clock will start ticking. Race for the end to get the best time. But beware, some elements will change. Let's do this. The only boxes you really want to concerning yourself with are the ones that give you time or have accuracy because they'll give you that little added protection. So there's a two second stop clock there. Grab that. Move on. 
Feel so slow. Stop myself being tempted to double jump when I don't need to. Certainly don't bother with that. Not sure if it'll even work, but just in case. a little extras, even like the uh, added spin would have helped there because I would have been able to um, get those ones all in one hit rather than having to spin twice, which delayed me by, what, a second? But that, that's the difference when it comes to the um, platinum times. So that's 59.43, which gave me Sapphire. Please enter initials. No, it's okay. I'll we'll have to have a look and see what the platinum time is, just to give you an example of how how tough they can be. Let's see, yeah, 59 seconds. Come on, Crash. Don't have to dance every single time. Fifty-seven for gold. So yeah, quite a bit out even for gold. Now, this is last thing. For some reason, they put save as X and A as load. Be careful of that. I've uh, when I first played this, I accidentally loaded my original game. Yeah, fuck knows why they did that. At least stupid, really. But yeah, so that's Crash Three Warped um, on the Insane Edition uh, trilogy. Crash. So thanks for watching. Check out our YouTube channel where this video will be. And check out our website with gbhbl.com. Thank you very much.